Hi, I'm Mike Davenport, Little Chevy Dude here at Bachman Chevrolet in Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, before I begin, don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Subscribe to my YouTube channel right below, and some thumbs up and sharing my videos would be nice. Video is request by Andre who called me here at the dealership asking me how something worked with this lock feature right back here it's called delayed locking let me show you how this works with the MyLink radio and at the end of the video I'll show you how to configure this without the MyLink the radio first thing that you have to do on the MyLink radio is go to your home screen go to settings and then right under vehicle settings here you got power door locks. Hit the power door locks, turn the delayed locking on, and that's all you gotta do, and hit home. So now that's on. Now the rest of the step is, you see I got the key in the ignition. I'm gonna start it just for safety sakes uh, to do it the correct way. Shut your car off, you're done. Now I've closed my key up. And basically what you do is when you get out of the car is you hit this button right here and it's gonna ding. Now, once I close this door, five seconds later, after that door is closed, it's gonna lock. However, I just opened this door. So now, five seconds after this door closes, it's gonna lock. Oh, but wait, I decided I need back in the front seat. So I've got five seconds to open another door, and if I don't, if I had the last door closed, that's when the five seconds starts. One, two, three, four, five. There you go. So now that's locked, and that's how easy it is to lock the car with the delayed locking feature on the Chevy MyLink. So here I am in the base LS model of the Chevy Sonic. So even though this is the base model, this car still comes with an enormous amount of features motorcycle inspired odometer display, which I love. Uh, still, you have the individualized headlights up front. You have power locks, you have AM FM radio, you have three and a half millimeter auxiliary input jack for your iPhone or Android phone or an iPod or anything like that. So back on task with this video is I'm gonna show you how to, on an LS without the MyLink radio system, how to set the delayed locking. It's very similar actually. Let me on show the radio you. here, you have similar buttons um, that say that say the similar thing as what the touchscreen does. So you're just gonna come down here at the bottom and hit config. You're gonna use the tune button to come down to vehicle settings, push that in, go down to power door locks, scroll down to delayed locking. As you can see, it's off right now. I'm gonna turn that on. And then I can just hit back a couple times, go right back to where it was. So I'm not gonna cut the video here, I'm just gonna shut the vehicle off, come over here, hit the same door lock, and then I'm not gonna mess with the doors this time because I am done with this car, and in five seconds, the lock will go down. Voila, horn beeps as you're walking away, and you know that the car is locked. So there's my how-to video that is brought to you by Andre, from Virginia on how to do the delayed locking on the Chevy Sonic. As you can see, it's good on every vehicle. It's not just good on the LTZ or the LT with the turbo or whatever the case may be. Andre says he's got an RS model, which is absolutely awesome. So it's good on anything. And so again, I want to really appreciate the, uh, the phone call from you, Andre, because without people like you, I don't know all the real world uh, problems that you may have that you're like, how do I do this? How do I do that? So if you've got something that you need to know how to do, feel free to call me, feel free to text me, feel free to send me an email, and I'll be more than happy to answer those questions for you. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day and drive safely.